I've gotten a new Brita. A big one, a big girl. We're gonna give her a taste test because the water has been extremely fishy. So, first she needs a sniff because it also has been smelling weird. Yep, she smells delicious. She almost smells a little fruity. Oh my god. Okay. What the heck? Holy shit, this is so much better. I wish I could transfer the taste to you. Wow, these things are something else. This has gotten me through the last four years of college and never done me wrong. Anyways. Greetings. I have had quite the weird day, frankly. Um, however, I've come to understand why. Apparently, today is the Pisces eclipse. There may be some label words missing in there that I'm missing, but it's fine. The gist is gotten, I assume. Um... And you may be thinking, what does that mean? I was thinking the same thing. Well, here's what it meant for me. I woke up this morning, cried. Oh. I was planning on journaling anyway, so I walked myself to a little cafe, a little coffee shop. I was feeling good after. I wanted to get a couple more things done. I was doing a bunch of laundry, which you can probably hear in the back. I'm not sure how much the mic is picking up. Um, and then I was like, you know what? It's time to get a good wax, okay? And I go to my wax appointment and I have the most like spiritual, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy. This is going to sound so crazy, but I had the most spiritual experience with my wax lady. I'd never met her before. I'd never been to this wax place. We just got into the most craziest whirlwind of a conversation about our spiritual beliefs. And they just aligned in so many ways. The kind of conversation where you know, you're kind of spilling the depths of your kind of craziest thoughts, um, things that you save for the right audience. Definitely not a stranger lady who is waxing you. You've never met her before. What an odd day. pretty much exactly how I'm feeling. I moved parts of the bed to the couch, so I'm having a little couch bed moment. Um, I don't know if it's just my period. I don't know if I'm like maybe a little depresso espresso, which kind of scares me. I've been in this place lots of times before and it's such a tricky thing because you know when you first start feeling those like first couple dips into a little bit of depression your motivation and your will to do anything is at an all-time low but that's like the time where you have to fight the hardest to get out of that because after that it's a slippery slippery slope if you wake up and feed into it every day not gonna be looking good a few months down the road you know what i'm saying so i'm definitely feeling the weight of that 
decision today because the only thing I want to do is lay on my couch bed even though I know that getting up and going outside would be very beneficial it's a beautiful day um oops I've been trying to think all morning it's 12 p.m now about what to do I thought maybe about like driving to the beach and just sitting there should I do that I have time I have the whole day. The beach is only an hour away. I need to do I need to do something though. This is not good for me to just lay here. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. But it's the only thing I want to do. I don't know, guys. Part of me wonders if I've just been like manifesting this in a way because I've been like the only thing people ever talk about is like post grad being so depressing and like how it was the worst time of their life. Like I've been hearing that now for the last year because it was on my radar. I just feel super directionless. I have a degree and it feels useless, even though I know that it's not, but let me just like rant for a bit, okay? I have skills that feel stupid. I just moved to a new city and I just don't feel right here. Like, like I'm not connecting with people. That feels really isolating and it makes you be like, well, is it me? Like, is there something wrong with me? Why? Am I having such a hard time relating to other people or feeling like I belong? Applying to jobs is so draining because it just feels like you have to like do this dance and sing a song and put on this performance, prove your value to some company or something. I didn't want this time to be so career focused because I felt so confused and uncertain, but it's hard not to want to focus on that and figure that aspect out. I imagine this time being just me committing to a bunch of hobbies, being super hobby oriented. And it feels like there's just like, I don't know. Moral of the story, I need to go outside. Maybe I should just go like even sit somewhere and just lay. So it would be at least better than laying inside, I guess. I feel whack. I feel so whack. I think this era of my life is just gonna be a very unstructured, kind of just throwing shit at the wall and maybe not knowing like the end goal of a lot of the effort that I'm putting into whatever I'm doing. I think that's really hard for me. I'm a very growth oriented kind of person. So working without an end goal is not my natural state, but I guess it's just something I'm gonna have to get more used to. And I saw somebody post this quote on their Instagram story about how a field must lay follow. Follow just basically means empty and stagnant. It's like a thing that farmers do to let their field kind of like rejuvenate itself as I understand it and I feel like I am the field and this is my follow time. I love making videos, but I hate being seen in this kind of state because I don't feel like it provides anything. I feel like this isn't authentic to me. I don't like being like this. I don't feel myself when I'm like this. <laughs> There's a fucking fly trying to live in my mouth. Rude. And so I just like don't want to show it. I have a lot of my life to be grateful for and thankful for too. So I think I beat myself up for not always feeling the best considering how blessed I am. And I just, just really need to go outside, I think.